Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on debugging for SAPSD consultants. Okay, so far we have debugged the basic things. How to uh, understand how the field values are getting determined or how to change that uh, field value in the database table level and we have gone through that uh, different ways of <coughs> starting the debugger okay so there may be a scenario for example i am trying to create uh, invoice correction request sales document type see i am adding the order type as rk and if I click on enter, see when I click on enter, I am getting this pop up window, right? So, if you want to debug this pop up windows, then we should uh, debug it in different way because uh, here there is no option of enab edit enabling the command prompt here. We don't have any option here. See, this we, this screen is the behind screen is completely uh, blocked, not editable. So this front screen only editable. If the behind screen is editable, means we can apply breakpoint slash h, but it is not enabled. Then how can we debug this uh, pop-up window? Okay, I'll tell you that. This is one case. In another case, if I go to mm01. Uh, if I okay, not mm01, mm02. See, after adding the material, if I click on enter, I am getting this window. How can I debug this window? Right? So, like this, we, we might get in different scenarios to debug the pop up windows. So, in order to activate the debugger and the pop-up window is you see here I have a one text file the text file name should be anything okay you see here there is a, some some commands has been written in the text file first is function and command is slash h and the title equal to debugger type equal to system command so this is the format that so these are the text that we need to uh, save it in the any text document okay now what i will do i will simply try to drag this text file into this pop up window after dragging this one i am getting one message stating that debugging switched on right and uh, if i select something any of that uh, tab use and if i click on ok the debugger is starting see here so this is how we should debug it with the help of the text file the text file should comment the text file should contains these commands if anything is uh, wrong here then debugger won't start so this is the right way that we should save in the text file anyways i will uh, try to share this uh, uh, four line of uh, commands in that uh, description you can uh, use that and let's see let me restart this one now let me try to debug uh, va01 as well okay now i'm clicking on enter i want to debug this one and go to the source the folder in your laptop where that has been stored and uh, simply drag it to over to this pop up window and you see debugging has been switched on right and uh, if i click on any billing document number and click on copy the debugger will start and here you we can see that this is getting called from these different uh, programs here Okay, this is how 
we should debug that any windows pop up windows or any tabs so whenever this command prompt is not editable not accessible then this is the only way that we can start the debugger okay so that's it today friends uh, we'll continue in the next video thank you